super collector's edition volume number two. It is finally here. Okay. I think it's in separate packaging. Yes. This binder is looking very good. I'm not sure if I want to keep the cards in the binder or put it in my own liner. We'll see. Whoa. They look so sick. Although they're still in the plastic, like I'm so amazed by the texture foiling. So let's start with Violent Rays. So this is the first card, Violent Rays. The foiling is so good. It has texture foiling on the red part and the silver parts are also looking really good. Bandai is really upping their game in terms of the quality of the cards. The next card is Sun Goku Hope of Universe 7. Damn, I think I really, really like this super rare. It's looking so good. It's looking way better than regular special rares. These foilings are like kind of fanning out from Goku's fist. I can almost feel the power wave coming out of his fist. Kind of really don't like how they stuck the cards to the binder. So you have to be really careful. Frieza Charismatic Villain. The one pretty cool thing about collector selection number two is that all of the cards have silver foilings. This is the original Frieza Charismatic Villain and honestly, I think it's a tie. I really, really do like this one, but this card is also <laughs> looking really good. I would say that I like the foiling and the original art better, but I do like the texture in this card better. Son Goku Nimbus Master. Texture on the flames are crazy. Wow, they did such an amazing job. I think all of the cards in this set, they're like very, very collectible. And some of the original arts are also really sick, but the texture is unmatched. I definitely don't agree with their way of sorting the cards. I feel like I could do a much better job than that. Well, Shapir hearted. It is looking pretty good. It looks way better than the original Super Ray. Chunks Heroic Prospect. Can you see the texture foiling right over here? I mean, Heroic Prospect is a card that Bandai literally reprinted so many times because it's a really good card and a lot of people like using it. I think I actually like all the versions of Heroic Prospects. Bandai did a really good job on Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. Mask Saiyan Brainwash No More. First of all, he is looking fire, literally fire, and it has two layers of foilings. One is kind of hidden, you can only see it under a certain angle, and one is the silver lightnings over here. Whoa, this repose looks so good. Wow, the secret foilings here. These golden flames actually have silver textures inside. Repose is kind of like the staple card in yellow decks. I'm kind of regretting not getting more of this. The Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta looks way better than I thought it would be. This card is really good. You can basically use the battle cards in your ward to use as union skill. Needless to say, this Gogeta is actually looking a lot better than the preview. Goku and Vegeta Saiyan Synergy. I can't really remember what the original card looked like though. Here's Divine Obliterator. This exploding planet behind his back has such a sick foiling and um, there's like waves of energies like bursting out from this exploding planet. Original one, new one. Which one is better? I think both of them have their own advantages. Ooh, please. I really like the color combination of this card, although there's a lot more foiling in the original version. Zamasu Secret Disbelief. The swirling wave coming out of his hand. Whoever thought of this design is so amazing. This is like blue yellow multicolor, so it like makes a lot of sense that it's blue and yellow. I really, really like the collector selection super combos, but seriously, Universal Onslaught had really good special wares. Android 18 Bionic Blitz. Compared with this one, I guess it really depends on personal preferences. Wow, this pattern over here is so trippy when you look at it. <laughs> so we have two more multicolor super combos left. This one is Napa Demolition Man. This is probably my least favorite card in this binder. Whoa. I mean, I really don't like the character, but they made this card look so good. Flaming, textures, flawless. Energetic Frenzy Kefla. I think I'm starting to like Kefla a lot. Last but not least, Soul Striker. Looks very good, but surprisingly, it doesn't have as much texture foiling as the other ones. I wish they did a little more of these flames. I think it's debatable.
enjoyable. I think I still like the original one better. It's kind of weird how there's a lot of textures like everywhere on the card, but not Goku. Goku's clothing, his hair, and his body, entire thing is not textured. The card itself, it's good, but not the best. cards are my favorite out of all 18 cards and I really do want to get them graded. If you want to take closer look at each of the cards, they will be on my Instagram DBS card collection. So feel free to go check it out. Thank you everyone for watching my video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!